Hey guys, it's Emma, and today I have a December haul and wrap up video for you. I didn't get to read that much in the month of December, so I'm going to start off with all the books that I bought in the month of December. The first book that I bought in the month of December is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. You might be saying, hey Emma, you already have a copy. Well, I wanted to get the rest of the series, and since the rest of the series isn't all out in paperback yet, I decided to do it in hardback, and this copy is signed, um, so I was like, I'm not going to pass up getting a signed copy of the first book, so I got the first book in this series signed, so I'm pretty excited about that. So I kind of just spoiled what the second and third book that I bought in the month of December was, but if any of you are still wondering, it is Hollow City and Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. Now I have the complete trilogy and I am really excited about it. This next book you might think I'm a little bit crazy for getting because I already have three copies of this book on my shelf, but now I have four. And if any of you are wondering, that book is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is the TV edition and I absolutely love it. I have all the other editions as well. I have the movie edition. I have the regular edition, and I also have the Barnes Noble Collector's Edition of the new cover. You might think I'm a little bit crazy for having all of these covers, but I absolutely love them. I am obsessed with this series, and I just couldn't not have this new cover as part of my collection. I love it, and if they come out with another cover of this book, I am probably going to get it, but I love them. The next book that I got is Frigid by Jennifer L. Armentrout, writing as Jalen. The next book that I got is Soundless by Rochelle Mead. I'm not a huge Rochelle Mead fan, but since I am participating in the biannual Bibliothon, I thought I would pick this book up since it is a group book, and it did sound really interesting, so I'm hoping my review on Rochelle Mead will change when I read it. The next book that I got is Maybe Not by Colleen Hoover. This is a novella that goes with Maybe Someday. I read Maybe Someday, I absolutely loved it, so I'm really excited to read the novella. The next two books that I got, I'm going to lump them together, and I got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and I also got Quidditch Through the Ages. And the last book that I got in the month of December is Harry Potter the Character Vault. Now to get into the wrap-up portion of my video. The first book that I read in the month of December was Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I gave this book five stars. I absolutely loved it. I have been putting this book off for over a year. And I was like, okay, I'm going to read it, I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to do it. Because I just didn't think that it was going to be something I was going to be into. And I just absolutely loved it. Like, I can't wait to finish the rest of the series. The next book that I read is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I gave this book five stars. It was just a light, quick read. I really loved how it was laid out. And there was a few little images and stuff like that. And I absolutely loved it. It was super cute. Now I just really want to know how they are going to do the movie. I saw the trailer and it looks really good. But I just really want to know how they're going to do it since this book didn't really have any characters. It was more of an informational kind of book. So I just really want to know how they're going to do the movie. The next book that I read was Quidditch Through the Ages. I gave this book five stars. I loved it. It was a light, quick read. Last book that I read in the month of December is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I was so glad to be able to read this book again. This is one of my most favorite Harry Potter books. So I was glad to get the chance to read it this month. And I just absolutely love it. Every time I read it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So that is all that I have for today's video. My next video will be up on Sunday because Sunday is the start of the Biannual Bibliothon. If you don't know what the Biannual Bibliothon is, I'll post a link to their channel down below in the description bar. But basically, it is a readathon. They also post daily video challenges, which I will be doing. So I'll have a video every single day next week and I'm really excited for it. If you guys are doing the biannual bibliothon, let me know down below in the comments or hit me up on social media and we can encourage each other throughout the week because read-alongs are tough and I have lots of difficulty with them and I'm sure I'm not alone. So let's just spread the encouragement for the readathon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. As always, all my social media is down below in the description bar. So go check it out when you're done here. And thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!